if you can't say for sure how this George Papadopoulos got in here, isn't it, uh, is it that much of a leap to say, well, geez, Russians could have infiltrated this campaign because you didn't know where George Papadopoulos came from and he somehow got into this campaign. Is it now possible, do you look back at this and say, geez, maybe, maybe the Russian government did infiltrate our campaign. Maybe it was a lot easier to do than I realized. Well, Chuck, but when you, when you say he was part of the campaign, to the best of my knowledge, George Papadopoulos never had a dot Donald Trump email address ever in his life. He was a volunteer like the tens of thousands of others who filtered uh, ideas up through <laughs> he different people in the campaign. Onto the national, so he, he made it onto a list. Yeah, but he, but he, was a, he was a volunteer. He was a volunteer then why did he who, make it? Who, was, who was vouched for by, I think, by the who? Hudson Institute, a well-respected... I, 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 I believe he worked for the Hudson Institute. Right? You're Look, making my Chuck, point here. I didn't you guys hire aren't every sure. Person. I understand that. But you guys are denying, well, there's no way any of these things can happen. And you don't know how supposedly a low level volunteer ended up on the same advisory list as General Kellogg. But, but the advisory list consisted of exactly one meeting, which took place for about 30 minutes, and that was the end of the advisory committee. And the people who were uh, experts in the field of national security continued to give advice and counsel, like General Kellogg and Bert Matsuzaka, General Matsuzaka, and Avril Kubik, and guys like George Papadopoulos, you know, that I know of, had no additional role in the campaign other than trying to provide information and pretend that they were relevant. He was a low-level volunteer who never had a Donald Trump email address, who was never paid by the campaign, who candidly probably never interacted with any of the senior management of the campaign. So I'm not sure how he ended up there, but I do know he started on the Carson campaign. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.